Well, crypto hub Binance banned traders in Iran in 2018 after the country was sanctioned by the US. But now at least seven traders have confirmed that they've used the platform until as recently as September of 2021. Yahoo Finance's Dave Hollerith is here to break down what that could mean for the trading platform. So, David, what can you tell us? So the report comes from Reuters and it follows uh, previous investigations Reuters has made um, at looking at uh, the major cryptocurrency exchanges um, relationship as a hub for um, organized crime gangs um, and other criminals, uh, hackers especially. Um, and now Reuters spoke with uh, several Iranian traders who said that after the 2018 uh, sanctions uh, law of, laws were placed, that they used uh, the Binance platform. And uh, Reuters also cited uh, 11 other people whose LinkedIn profiles indicated that they also used Binance after the sanctions notice. Additionally, Reuters cited internal chat logs from Binance employees, which suggested that Binance insiders were well aware of what was going on and, and even joked about it. Um, now, additionally, uh, the report found Iranian traders access the platform thanks, thanks to weak background checks and the use of virtual private networks or VPNs. Now, uh, the thing about the VPN situ situation is that um, Binance has previously um, published blog posts on its company's on the company's website um, detailing how to use a VPN. So obviously, that doesn't necessarily look good. There's a little bit of a of a um, of a uh, libertarian bent to uh, some of the early crypto, uh, you know, thought leaders in the space. Um, now, in uh, I would say, you know, back to the story's release, uh, CZ Binance's CEO um, came out and admitted to the fact that over Twitter that Binance uses uh, or has used Reuters World Check tool for IDing customers since 2018. Now, over email, a Binance spokesperson uh, responded to comments from us and uh, essentially emphasized the fact that compliance and regulatory and, the, and a strong regulatory program has been a, a, a hallmark feature for most of the company's existence. Um, that being said, uh, they currently do follow all um, financial sanction uh, laws. Uh, the spokesperson told me, and that includes banning users in Iran, North Korea, and other sanctioned countries. We'll certainly be keeping an eye on that story. Thank you for getting us up to speed. Our very own Dave Hollerith.